Now, in chapter 4, we will cover the kinematics of circular motion. Later on, in chapter 6, we're going to study circular motion more fully. We're going to study the dynamics of circular motion. We're going to do more problems with circular motion. So this is a limited uh, introduction to circular motion. So kinematics of circular motion. We kind of already addressed this back in the previous problem that we did. Remember I said that when an object is going in a circle, even if it is not changing its speed, it's still accelerating because it's changing its direction. So when something is going in a circle, it has a certain velocity called tangential velocity. And it has an acceleration called centripetal acceleration. Okay? A, C, centripetal equals AC, which equals V squared over R times negative R hat. And remember, in that problem that we did, we already uh, used that fact. We took its instantaneous speed, which is the velocity, the magnitude of the velocity vector, and then we squared it and we divided it by R. By the way, this one here is not a definition of AC. It is the formula. So it is provable. And we actually do experiments to prove it. Remember how at the beginning of the semester I was saying certain things are definitions, certain things are provable. This one is a provable thing that we actually can do an experiment and prove it. Um, and a negative r hat just means it's towards the center. So when the object comes over here, it has a velocity tangent. It has a centripetal uh, acceleration as well. It's always towards the center. Uh, if its velocity, if it, the magnitude of the velocity is not changing, it's called uniform circular motion. If the magnitude of velocity is constant, then it's called a uniform circular motion. Okay, but if it is, uh, if the magnitude is changing, then that means there is a tangential acceleration. Besides the centripetal acceleration, there's also a tangential acceleration. And the formula for tangential acceleration is AT is equal to uh, magnitude of AT, whatever that is, times theta hat. Theta hat, remember, in polar coordinates is a vector that is, uh, that is uh, whose uh, unit vector, which is uh, going along the circle. So A tangential will look something like this. Okay. It's, it goes along with the it goes along with the object's motion, okay. And the magnitude of a tangential could either be changing or constant, right? This thing could be a t is uh, either constant or changing. And I'll give you uh, an example in e either case, uh, with both cases, to show you what happens. Um, now, if the object is slowing down, let's say this happens to be a car. And as the car is going around the circle, let's say you're pushing the brake, you're slowing down. Then what's going to happen? What's the direction of a tangential? If the car is slowing down, then the velocity vector. OK, so the, as I said, the magnitude of a tangential is either constant or changing. 
And if the A tangential is negative, that means as you're going around the curve, the V tangential is one direction, the A tangential is opposite, the A centripetal is still towards the center. Now there's another acceleration that is the sum of these two, it's called the total acceleration. which is a centripetal uh, r hat <coughs> plus, no, I should write it, let, let's write it this way. It's the vector sum of the two. Okay, the magnitude of a total is equal to square root of a centripetal squared plus a tangential squared. So the, the picture of it will look like this. A centripetal will be uh, into the, so towards the center. A tangential will be, if, if you're speeding up, it's in the same direction as V tangential. And if you put A tangential at the tip of the A centripetal vector, the A total vector will look like this. In other words, the A total vector is telling you what are the total forces on the car as it's going around the circle. If the, if the car is accelerating, then those total forces are provided by the, the engine and the, uh, the friction force on the tires. The, uh, the friction force is pushing in on the tires, the engine is pushing forward on the tires, so that's a t total acceleration of the car. Okay? And then the angle of the total acceleration is measured with respect to the centripetal acceleration. So the theta uh, is equal to tan inverse of a uh, tangential divided by a centripetal. You see, the theta is the tan inverse of the tangential over the centripetal, the opposite over adjacent. Okay, let's do a couple examples here, quick examples.